MacArthur was born in Pittston, Pennsylvania, as one of seven children. He dropped out of school in the eighth grade and began peddling life insurance door to door. Eventually, it was banker's life that formed the base of his financial pyramid, which included a 19-company insurance conglomerate, banks, oil wells, hotels, and real estate. Back in June of 1973, MacArthur was interviewed by Channel 4's Joe Abril at the Colonnades Hotel where he lived. Abril asked him if he was indeed a billionaire. How do you know what you're worth? You want your paper profits? You want to add up? You want to make a fancy statement to give to a bank? Well, you're, you're certainly a millionaire. I mean, you know that much. We, can we agree on that? Well, I'll say that I could probably sell out for a million dollars, <laughs> yes. But I couldn't no, no more write you a check for a million dollars. Uh, I would be goofy if I had a million dollars in my checking account. I want it working. I want it earning six, seven, eight percent interest, depending what the opportunity. One of MacArthur's closest friends was radio news commentator Paul Harvey. He used to describe his trading in corporations as a hobby. And I think he did sort of play chess with corporations. Skyscrapers were his toys. Um, money was a hobby with him, as golf is for you and me. MacArthur is survived by his wife, Catherine, his son and daughter, and six grandchildren. To sum up his life, perhaps the best phrase is one of his own. Money's the name of the game. There isn't any other way to figure it. Joan Hall, Channel 4 News.